Planes, Games with Jay. Okay. Let's uh, let's get this anti-spiral. <laughs> this this non-believing, impossible saying <laughs> anti-spiral. Yeah. Uh, row, row, fight the power. Touch the untouchable. Break the unbreakable. Okay. We got the bullet. Okay. You dressed me up in that suit after I passed out. Then you just draped me across Hifumi and had him carry my way or something. You try to make me look like I'm the bad guy. Like I said, ridiculous. As you can see in the picture, the suspect is standing perfectly upright. If the person inside the suit was unconscious, there's no way they could stand up straight like that. Oh, okay. This. And the fortune-telling idiot is the culprit after all! No way! Wait, really? Oh, yeah? <laughs> uh, uh, she couldn't bend the waist, yeah. Just me on the suit, blah, 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 blah. Carry, had him carry my weight. Trying to make me look like the bad guy. Oh, wait. What's the one I have to copy? Because there's no way none of... Oh, the costume. Yeah, yeah, there we go. Um... What? That's correct. Oh, okay, sorry. It didn't It didn't do anything special. I was like, well, are you kidding me right now? If it doesn't, it just does it like a bounce off in red text. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah. No, even if the person inside the suit were unconscious, they could still stand up like that. Because that robo-justice suit had a certain characteristic. That's right. They totally made a mistake when they made it, so it couldn't bend at the waist. I'm not so sure if that was a mistake. I think the suit was designed from the beginning to be the, the be used the way it was. <laughs> oh, that's an expression. Celeste and Fumi took the suit they specially designed and stuffed Hiro into it. That's how they were able to fake that whole thing. The point of it all was to make us believe whoever was in the suit was to blame. <laughs> well then, I suppose this is checkmate. Checkmate? I'm a checkers girl myself. <laughs> Don't make me laugh, you idiot! What do you mean, checkmate? Oh, shit. Celeste? Clearly you want to cram me into your little guilty box. Well, there's one little problem. Have you already forgotten what Hifumi told us as he lay dying? Hey, who, who is it? Well, th th we should be Oh, yeah, okay. Who killed me? That's right, I remember their name. Yas Yasu, hero. When we asked him who had attacked him, his answer was quite clear, was it not? He said, and I quote, Yasuhiro. In other words, Yasuhiro Hagakure. Wait, my name isn't really Yasuhiro, it's actually Taro. Your confusing statements don't make any sense. You're only making things more complicated. He did say Yasuhiro, but are we really sure? Are we sure he was really pointing the finger at Hiro? What the hell are you talking about? I'll burn you alive! Kyoko, what do you mean by that? Think back to how Hafumi used to talk to us. How did he refer to each of us? Um. Yeah, last names. That's right, our last names. He calls us all by our last names. Exactly. I know I know. I heard him say Mr. Nayagi more than once, for example. So if Hifumi did mean to say Hiro's name, he would have he would have said his last name, Hagakure. I'm sure it was just incidental. By chance, he just... his first name. Incident indecent? Don't talk. <laughs> Random chance. Now, isn't that a convenient explanation? No. There's no reason to think he would have said the name any different than normal. But he must have run out of energy before he could say any more. So, Hifumi was trying to tell us the last name of whoever killed him? But the name he said doesn't apply to anyone here. Well, no, hold on. There's one person it could apply to. And that's Celeste. She never actually told us what her real name is. What? What did you just say? To think you'd take your false accusations so far. I don't know whether to laugh or spit. Come on, enough with your idiotic blather. Yasuhiro is a loser's name. Do I look like a loser to you? Well, do I? What? I think I've earned the right to be a little on edge. Okay then, fill us in. What's your real name? Fine, make sure your ear holes are wide open and listen up. 
My real name is Celestia Ludenberg. Could you please stop making me repeat myself over and over again? Celeste still won't give up. So then, I have to do something to make her accept it. Is this the, the final part? Wait. Oh no, never mind. Uh, what are any of these clues? Okay. Hifumi was trying to tell us something. He wanted us to know the killer's last name, Yasuhiro. If there's one person here who might have had that last name... It would have to be you, Celeste. You haven't told anyone what your real name is. How many times do I have to tell you? My name is... Celestia Ludenberg, God damn it! How long do you plan to go on pretending? I'm not pretending, it's the truth. And since you have no way to contradict me... That's the only truth there is, moron! Um, I mean, obviously the last thing is something I have to shoot. If I remember, something that should... Oh, the e-handbook? Oh, that's right, that's right. Okay, okay, I get it. Uh, where is the handbook? Okay, let's fast forward. Yep, 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 yep. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Uh-huh. Uh, I'm gonna shoot on this corner. There we go. Break. Break, 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 break. That's it. The handbook. What? Anytime you turn your handbook on, it shows the owner's name when it boots up, right? Monokuma told us all about it before. This handbook is vital, bitch! When you start, it shows your name! Bitch. <laughs> bitch! It's got many more uses, bitch! So all we have to do is check her handbook and that'll clear up everything. That's how we can find out Celeste's real name. <laughs> That's an invasion of privacy. I, I refuse to cooperate. Celeste, can you please just tell us what really happened? Please, just tell us. Even when I'm put in check, it's just my nature not to give up. Because... Because, 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 because... Until the game's over, you never know what might happen! Fine then. Let me settle it. Let me go over the case again from the beginning and shed light on all your crimes. And that'll bring everything to an end. Damn, Celeste. We were friends. Okay. Okay, comic time. Okay, so, uh, Killer and Hufumi were talking, and they, uh, were saying what? Oh, that's not him. That's that's not them saying anything. That's think about what should be in the other half. Oh, of okay, that. okay, okay. Uh, uh, I don't know what looks like the other half of that. In a hand. Look at the first page. They're just. They're just talking, it, right? Yeah, so who should be there? Just... Oh, Hifumi. Yep. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Um, next page. Act two. Uh, they're talking, and they're thinking about... Uh, y Yasuhiro... They're trying... Well, why is he supposed to be here? I'm sorry. Hold on. S Yasuhiro walks in? So... In this case, what was some stuff that was really, like, important with this case? Um... Or think, like, in Act 2, or maybe we can go back to it, we don't have to yeah, do it right yeah, now. Yeah, 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 hold okay. on, and then... Yasuhiro's, like, confused? No, this will be afterwards, I think. Okay, they put stuff in the suit, um... And, uh... He does he? Oh, writing the camera, right? Um, Act three, and then oh, the note. Where's the note? Um, what? Look at the second panel. It's Kiyotaka. What's he doing? Looking at a watch. Yeah, yeah, okay. At 1 a.m.? That's not right. Uh, near 6 a.m., right? 
Okay, there's no option for that. So I guess it is. Oh, no, there's the 1 a.m. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wait, but that was for Yasuhiro. So where should that go? That should go uh, here. There you go. Uh, here, mm -hmm. the first one. Yeah. Okay. Uh, this one here is simpler than you think. Just oh, right, is, right. It, is it literally the Yasuhiro reaction? Yeah, it's just one? Yasuhiro just okay. kept like, huh? Yeah. yeah, okay, okay, okay. This clock, though, is, it's 7 a.m., but. Am I missing a 6 a.m. one? I thought it was 6 a.m. Am I overthinking this? Or is it not? Okay. Oh, you're looking the watch wrong. Okay, I was like, why are you so. Oh, yeah. Look at look at how look oh at, the angle oh my that's why would they design it this way that is a little silly yeah uh -huh. okay um okay hits him with the hammer um uh he was killed with justice hammer four so um act four the camera they're like oh my goodness look at Look at the camera, and they're looking, tr trying to find Hifumi. Um, what? What is this thing in Act Five that they're all seeing H Hifumi? They never mentioned they saw Hifumi. Hmm. Byakui and Toko. What is this? Okay, I'm, I'm so like. Go back. Okay. Are there any other ones? Okay, so we got everything. Oh wait, wait, what's that over there? What? This ball? Okay. So, right now, um, it's Celestia and, and then and then it's Fumi, right? So then, in terms of the hammer order, what hammer should be here? Here? Mm hmm. Because, like. Oh, he was attacked, uh, so hammer number one, right? It's not here. So, hammer number two? Hammer number two. Okay. Okay, and then they're talking their stuff as, uh, I guess they saw Hifumi at some point, so I guess they fucking lied, because they said they never saw him. So, um, he's putting, putting blood everywhere, um, is there like, uh, he got gla glasses? Do you remember which, well, oh, the hammer? It's okay. the hammer, yeah. Yeah, so three, and they're like, oh my god, they're dead, they're dead. Uh... Then Hufumi runs around and and grabs Taka. Uh, um, oh, and this is him pushing. I was wondering what this was. <laughs> and then he's killed. Um, for real. No. Right? Okay. Is that it? Yep. This time with not a justice hammer. Oh, one, that's right. That's the right. one that was in yeah. the, you know, the room. All right. All right. Let's do it. I think that's it. Before anything, the killer persuaded someone to help carry out the murder, and that person was... Hifumi. With an accomplice, the killer was able to execute a number of otherwise impossible schemes. Okay. <laughs> First, they convinced someone to meet them in the rec room last night at 1 in the morning. That someone they met was Hiro. The murderous duo intended to pass Hiro off as the prime suspect, so when they met up with him, they drugged him and knock knocked him out and stuffed him in the into the robo-justice suit. Next, Hifumi positioned himself to make it look like robo-justice was attacking him while the killer used the digital camera to take pictures of the assault. They did all this to, just to create evidence that would put, this, uh, put the suspicion on Hiro. When they were done with him, they shoved him, still unconscious, into the pool room locker. And when finally at 6 a.m., um, and then finally at 6 a.m., they moved into the murder phase of their plan. They called Taka to the equipment room. And that's where Hifumi killed him, making it the scene of the first murder. The murder weapon was just uh, was Justice Hammer 4, which was left there in the equipment room. The reason Hammer Number 4 was used just uh, was to create confusion about the order of the crimes. 
So next, they falsified two more assault incidents. For these attacks, the killers pretended to be the victims to solidify robo-justice as a suspect. The first fake incident was the attack in the rec room. There, the killer wanted us to see Justice Hammer 1 and the robo-justice pictures they'd taken. They wanted to make sure we bought the surprise attack story. The second fake incident was the attack in the library. This time, they planted Justice Hammer 2 and injured Hifumi to sell us that story. Oh, that's right. I completely forgot about that. Mm -hmm. Uh, with these two incidents, the killers were able to create a certain preconception in our minds. That the, uh, that the suspect was increasing the size of the hammers and attacking people in order as they did. We fell right into their trap and started looking for the suspect based on that, but... Yeah, this was the library. Right, and then, right, right. And then they put him in the nurse's office. While we did that, we left Hifumi alone in the nurse's office. This is exactly what Hifumi was hoping for. He took a blood packet from the refrigerator and Justice Hammer 3 and turned the room into a crime scene in which he had he himself had apparently been brutally mur murdered. He let out a scream to draw us back and when we returned, that's what we found. Meanwhile, the other group that had been out searching out for uh, found Taka's body at the same time. So when we heard the body discovery announcement, we naturally assumed it was for Hifumi. We left the nurse's office and, Huf and Hifumi once again took advantage of the situation. He simply got up and made his escape. When we learned his body had disappeared, we all rushed back to the nurse's office. And once again, Hifumi had the chance he was waiting for. This time, he snuck into the equipment room. <clears throat> he wrapped Taka's body in a tarp and used the dolly to move it all the way down to the repository. That explains how each of the bodies disappeared. Bonk. But even Hifumi didn't know what the true killer had in mind for the final act. Hifumi's final act was a nya. Nya. <laughs> Their plan all along was to kill Hifumi, get and get rid of the person who could betray them. They did it, and they did it using an ordinary, everyday hammer from the repository. That should cover everything that happened in this case, and the villain behind it all is. Are we, are, we no. gonna kiss? are we gonna kiss? <clears throat> we ghost kissed. Wow. Celeste, sorry, you lose. I lost. I lost. When was the last time I was forced to utter such words? They hang heavy around my neck. Then you admit it. You're the killer. <laughs> Listen to you trying to take charge, as if you're my private instructor. I, Celestia Ludenberg, actually know. Taeko Yasuhiro is fine. Taeko? So you finally accepted it. I'm the kind of person, once I've lost, I don't like things to drag on. Interesting. Interesting. Okay. Hell yeah. That's what it's all about. <laughs> okay, Monokuma. I'm ready to begin. Or no. I suppose this is the end, isn't it? Mm -hmm. It is indeed the moment we've all been waiting for. Time to vote, okay? Okay. If you would, la cast your vote. And when the votes are tallied, who will become the blackened? Will you make the right choice or the dreadfully wrong one? What's it gonna be? What's it gonna be? <laughs> Yasuhiro's like, who do I vote for again? <laughs> oh my god, Hero! <laughs> <laughs> Was it Mondo? <laughs> <laughs> no! Oh man. It's basically a formality at this point, <clears throat> but once again, you're totally correct. The black in this time, the true killer who devised the whole stinking scheme was... Celestia Ludenberg, or more precisely, Taiko Yasuhiro! I lost. Well, that sucks. I guess trying to work with someone else was a mistake after all. Ifumi's ineptitude was beyond all my calculations. 
So you really did approach Hifumi with this plan. But how did you get him to agree? I can't imagine he would have happily agreed to commit murder. I'm sure she relied on her specialty, lying. <laughs> My specialty? Don't make me laugh. I didn't have to lie to get him to agree. Yeah. Then, did you use... you know... I knew you'd figured it out, Kyoko. You're absolutely right. To get Hifumi to act as my accomplice, I used her. For everyone who's still left, I'll avoid mentioning it by name, but... Even though you made the right... You said he mentioned it way before. Yeah, I'll, it Makoto, was one, you dumbass. Yeah, oh it was the God. one thing Hifumi and Taka were both super into. Does she mean... Is she talking about alter ego? Which I said out loud. <laughs> what? 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 What are you talking about? Oh wow! Good thing Wanakuma is a dumbass. <laughs> Don't interrupt. Mm. We're in the middle of a very important conversation here. Uh, I'm totally out of the loop as usual. Oh, so sad. Then you're the one that stole it. That's right. And you used it to drag Kafumi into the plan you'd come up with. <laughs> right again. Last night after we had our meeting about how it disappeared, I paid Hifumi a little visit. Oh, um, what are you doing here? I was hoping I could talk to you, alone. It is about what was stolen. I know who did it. What? It was Taka. He stole it. What? And I have proof. Would you like to see it? As it turned out, I found a use for the digital camera. I'd taken you-know-what to Taco's room earlier and took pictures of it there. I deleted the picture as soon as I'd shown it to Hifumi, of course. And so it was him! But how did he do it? He was supposed to yell if either of us got close to her! You are correct, which is why Taka forced me to steal it. What?! Please forgive me, he... he threatened me. He did? He came to my room last night unannounced and then... It's hard for me to even say. He abused me. What? And he, he took pictures. He said if I did not do as he asked, he would show them to everyone. So I, I had no choice. That's a crime, an absolute crime. I mean, he, he knew he'd gone a little crazy, but I never imagined he would, would go that far. It was amazing how completely he bought it. <laughs> I can't express how enjoyable that was. I'm about to say something I've never said before in my life. Frick! I'm going to kill him! Oh, I'm going to fucking kill him! Wait, please. If you go now, you'll be playing right into his hands. Huh? Taka is planning to use her to escape. And he has made you his target. Escape? You don't mean... Taka is going to try to kill you. What? And also, he can keep her to himself. That... Bastard! Bastard, 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 bastard! Can we allow him to continue with these barbaric acts? Absolutely not! How could I? She, she, I have to save her! Then, would you like to join with me? It just so happens I have come up with a plan. Huh? I have devised a way to reclaim what he has stolen and escape this dreadful school. <laughs> and with that, it is complete. Huh? What are you talking about? Oh, nothing. Hifumi agreed without a second thought. <laughs> the effect that Ida had on him was remarkable. And the power of love. Even a love as twisted as that can still drive people mad, it would seem. You disgust me. I have another question for you. Was that strange costume Hifumi's creation? Yeah, it was a real pain in the butt, too. All I asked him to do was make something to hide the face and general body size. I had no idea he'd made something like that, but it's my fault for picking him in the first place. So why did you decide to make me the suspect? Because you're stupid. Oh, fuck. Fair. <laughs> and in that regard, I made the right choice. I'm so glad your stupidity surpassed my every expectation. Life must have been tough on your parents, though. I feel like I could cry. But when you were explaining your plan to Ifumi, how did you explain the part about him playing dead? What she's asking is, what was Ifumi supposed to do after that, assuming you had actually let him live? That simple. 
After he did his part and pretended to be dead, once someone showed up. I told him to say he'd been seriously wounded. He was on the verge of death, but he just barely held on. And he really believed that? Well, of course, that wasn't all there was to it. As I explained it to Hifumi, the plan was, while you were all questioning him about what had happened to him, I was going to murder someone else. At that point, Hifumi would have an alibi, so nobody could doubt him. I told him that, and he believed it. <laughs> it all seems very straightforward, stereotypical. I just matched the lie to the level of the opponent. In fact, Hifumi ate it up. He believed the lie wholeheartedly right up until the moment of his death. So you had planned to kill him all along. But of course. There would have been no point to my plan if the one who pretended to be dead did not end up dead himself. Oh, oops. How can a human life mean so little to you? That's a non-issue. I simply did everything in my power to win. Now you sound like Byakuya. No, he derives his pleasure from the thrill of the hunt. In that aspect, we are nothing alike. Then, what made you take things this far? Was it really just for money? Are you talking about the $10 million Monokuma offered us? That is a lot of money, it's true. But that's not all there is to it. From the moment our new life here began, my only thought has been escape. B but all along you've been saying how we have to accept living here. Obviously that was a lie. Ah. I couldn't take it. I hated it from day one. More than anyone, anyone, anyone else in here. I wanted to get out. Every day was fresh torture. And do you want to know why, huh? Because I had a dream. And accepting a life here would have meant nothing less than giving up on my dream forever. And there was no way that I could ever do that. In the underground world of gambling, I risked my life to make a metaphorical killing. And it was all for that dream. And what was this dream of yours? To live in a European castle. A c castle? <laughs> and to gather handsome men from all over the world to serve as my butler slash bodyguards. Wow. <laughs> I, I respect her a lot. <laughs> I was going to make them dress up like vampires and satisfy my every need. Wow. Once I obtained that, I would have created a perfectly aesthetic world of decadence. Is this Anne-Marie? Living the rest of my <laughs> life, that was my only dream, my only goal. That's what life is all about. Yeah, this does feel very Anne-Marie. <laughs> yeah. Combined with my own winnings, Monokuma's $10 million would have made that dream a reality. I got right to the edge, but... Unfortunately, my dream has been scattered to the wind. Still, I don't have any regrets. I pursued my dream till the very end, so why would I? Wow. You sound so passionate, but you were really able to kill your own friends for it? Are you asking me to feel guilty? That's a pointless endeavor. I think nothing of sacrificing others for my own ends. I feel nothing. That's all there is to me. That's, what's make, that's what makes me complete. <laughs> Isn't it terrifying how different our values are? There's simply no room for understanding. That's what we should be saying. And plus, how can you be so calm? Don't you realize you're about to die? Why aren't you scared? <laughs> My ability to lie is unrivaled and I take pride in that. It's not just other people. I can even fool my own emotions. The conscious de deceives the unconscious. And that's why you're not scared? That's right. I don't fear death. Kill me however you like. But you know, if I could be reincarnated, if I had a choice, then... I think I would like to come back as Marie Antoinette. You just get executed again. <laughs> <laughs> Celeste smiled then. And when she did, it looked to me like a poor effort to force it. She claimed she could fool her own feelings, but that statement itself must have been her final lie. And that weak, fake smile is what betrayed her. You all done? Okay, let's get rolling. The black can disturb the peace and must pay the price. Now then, I prepared a very special punishment for her, the ultimate gambler. Let's give it everything we've got. It's punishment time. Oh, man. I guess I'll let Kyoko hold on to this. This is... Will it really give you the hope you're looking for? I can't say I ever saw it that way. Which is why, actually, it's not important. Well then, take care everyone. Perhaps we'll meet again in another life. 
Oh, Celeste. Oh, no. It's a pretty crazy plan, but, like, mm. I do respect Celeste, especially, like, committing to it and mm -hmm. accepting her defeat. Uh. Okay. Okay. Okay, okay. Whoa. The burning of the Versailles witch. Whoa. This is... I feel like this might be worse than any of the... Really? Worse than being b battered to death by baseballs or well, that's like, the that's Mondo like, butter? But that's like chaotic like in an anime way, right? This is like... This is fucked. <laughs> Just watching someone roast alive. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> okay. What? Did the truck run, what, run through her? Yeah. What was the point of the fire? <laughs> this is. I tried to save her, Jay. This is the stupidest death. What? Oops. What? <laughs> it's over. The third execution is over. Celeste's death is over. Celeste killed my friend, so I can't pity her, but I also can't deny that at one point I considered her a friend too. And for him to just come along and run her over with a truck? Okay. Is it just awful, Jay? Well, you want me to kill her better? You sicko? <laughs> Someone couldn't cut free of their regrets from the outside world, and so more people had to die. It just wasn't fitting for the ultimate gambler. Like, Mondo at least rode to death, right? And and Leon was baseball to death. I was expecting like a gambling table almost, mm, but yeah. like, yeah, this is weird. <laughs> okay, sicko, you guys are still young. You need to place more value on your lives. Jeez, and here I thought you guys were gonna pass the torch of hope to the next generation. W what do I care about hope? I'll throw it in the trash if you just let me out of here. You're all the embodiment of hope, whether you like it or not. And it's my destiny to knock you down one by one. It's sad, yes it is, but that reality just can't be avoided. Don't talk, uh, don't talk like you're not responsible. How long are you gonna make us keep going through this? What do you want from us? God, I'm so sick of people asking me that. Give it a rest already. So anyway, Kyoko, did I see you get some kind of key type object from Celeste? So, uh, what's the deal with that? Huh? What's the matter? I'll answer your question if you answer mine. What did you do? What did you do to me? What? Answer me. What did you do to my body? Ooh, oh man, oh jeez, oh man, oh jeez. What do you mean, what did I do? I have no idea. I don't know anything about it. Um, what was that just now? The mastermind did something to Kyoko's body. What does that mean? Okay, things are getting kind of awkward. I think it's about time I got out of here. Yeah. Meanwhile, you guys can go on enjoying your school life. If you get lonely, give me a shout. Not that I'll do anything about it, of course. Poo-hoo-hoo. <laughs> See ya. Bye-bye. <laughs> Monokuma disappeared, leaving us all depressed and in despair. Although it wasn't all despair. There was one small hope. Hey, hey Kyoko, oh. Monokuma already mentioned it, but what's that key that Celeste gave you? Most likely, it's the key to one of the dressing room lockers. <laughs> what? Then that means... <laughs> Celeste probably hid it in there. Oy. I suppose sometimes it's easiest to miss what's right beneath your nose. Well, then we'd better go check. <laughs> Good idea. We, we left the courtroom and rushed to the dressing room. 
As we approached the dressing room, Kyoko looked back at us and said, I'm going to go on alone from here. Everyone else head to the dining hall. I'll check in with you later. Why exactly are you going alone? Do you even have to ask? As she spoke, she glanced quickly at the surveillance camera. That's not what I mean. Why you? There's still the risk of a spy, you know. Then, then I'll, I'll go too. Oh, okay. <laughs> you. Please, let me go. Standing here arguing is just going to draw more attention to us. <laughs> Do whatever you want. Thank you, Byakuya. Then it's up to you now. I'm gonna go to the dining hall, okay? Huh? So Makoto and Kyoto Kyoko are gonna go together? Nah. <laughs> Does that mean what I think it means? I hope so, Aoi. <laughs> <laughs> I tried to forget what Hina said. Everyone headed to the dining hall, leaving me and Kyoko there alone. Well, shall we? Maybe on the next episode, we shall. I need a fucking shower or something, <laughs> man. <laughs>